Welcome back to Morning Break. We're taking a live look outside with our WTOC generator downtown sky cam. A beautiful shot of the bridge, even though it's a little dark outside. That's all right. We've got an event happening tomorrow. Studying history and sharing knowledge with others is no easy feat. And some researchers have changed the way we understand the past. And you have an opportunity to hear from an award-winning journalist and author who has done just that. The Georgia Historical Society is hosting an evening with historian Steve Oney and senior historian with the Georgia Historical Society. Dr. Stan Deaton joins me with more about the event happening tomorrow. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. Pretty exciting event because not only are, is it an opportunity for the community to hear from Mr. Oney, but mm -hmm. you all are also honoring him as well. Tell me about that. We are. It's something called the Duly Distinguished Fellowship fellowship named for coach Vince Dooley who of course had a lifelong love of history student of history he served on our board for many years and so this was a way not only to honor his leadership but his love of history so every other year we choose a nationally renowned historian or author who has not only had a relationship to us over a long period but has also done great work of sort of telling different stories of history through the years so this is the fourth time fourth time we've done this Steve Oney is uh, Georgia born. He now lives in Los Angeles. He's had a long career as an author, historian, and journalist. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, what can people expect during the event? I know you all will be honoring him. Mm -hmm. You'll also, we'll also get to hear from him mm -hmm. and hear more about his past and how he's been able to help us understand mm -hmm. um, history in the past as we know it. Sure. Well, he'll be inducted as a Dooley Fellow. Barbara Dooley, Coach Dooley's widow, will be there to help do that. And then I'll sit down with him and we'll have a pretty wide ranging discussion about his life uh, as a journalist, his career working for the uh, Atlanta newspapers, uh, writing for magazines all over the country. And then he's the author of a really path breaking book that was published about 20 years ago called And the Dead Shall Rise. And it was really about one of the darkest moments in Georgia history, uh, the murder of Mary Fagan, the lynching of Leo Frank. He wrote an award winning, really spectacular book. So we're gonna talk about that we're going to talk about his work as a journalist. We're going to talk about how a free press works to, to make our democracy uh, keep going, as it were. And we're going to talk about his new forthcoming book, which is about national public radio. Yeah, it sounds like a jam-packed event. I'm glad you brought up the idea of talking about free press. Mm -hmm. For someone who wants to get more into history, more into understanding something like that, what would you say to encourage them to come out tomorrow? I think you, you need to come here. Uh, the wisdom and the experience, what he's learned, what he's seen across a career that really has spanned 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, involved in national politics. He's written about national figures. And it's just good to hear somebody who understands uh, and has written about the good things and the bad things that journalism has done for our country. It's really great insight, I think, and a rare opportunity to hear from somebody who's so polished, so good, and has a lot to say. Yeah, that's awesome. Knowledge is power. Um, give us a recap again of where the event will be and mm -hmm. what time it'll start. Thursday, September 12th. It's free, 7 o'clock at Congregation Mikva Israel on Monterey Square here in downtown Savannah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Sounds like a great event and awesome opportunity to learn more about things we may not have a full understanding of. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, still ahead, after 10 years with a genetic disease, 